fans out there, today might not be the day to fulfill this dream, but if you've ever had a desire to be a race car driver or to improve your driving skills, then Mini Thunder and Willows may be a dream come true for you. Action News' Liza George has more. In the largest gathering of Mini Coopers this side of the Sierra, hundreds of drivers from beginners to racing professionals come together to wear out some rubber. An all mini day. So we came up with an idea that we we put together a track day. And the first day years ago was maybe 40 or 50 cars, and now we're 200 plus. Mini Thunder is not just about racing. It's about improving your driving skills and meeting other mini enthusiasts. Basic techniques of, of braking, turning, shifting, the, the real good quality things you should use in everyday driving. People you meet, you all have that common element, and there's such an amazing group of people, so it's, it's like family, literally. And if you're a new driver, it can teach you valuable rules of the road. And it actually makes you a better driver. A lot of people go, oh, I don't ever want to race, but actually being out on the track helps you understand where your limits your car are. You can never have been on the track before. They put a coach in the car, and they just coach you from your capabilities to your car's capabilities, and they just gradually coach you up. And Mini Thunder is not just for the boys. It welcomes anyone with any interest in racing. We just have a great group, and there are a lot more women out there, and it should be that way. Just come on out and have fun. It's not, a, it's not just for guys. <laughs> Though there are many racetracks across the United States, one thing everybody agreed on, Thunder Hills Raceway in Willows is one of the best. In the event something ever happens, you have such great area to run off in case you end up going off track. There aren't a lot of walls to uh, to worry about going into. So if you lose it, just don't fight the car. Just go <laughs> off into the dirt and let it, go. let it go. Let it go. And why the Mini, you may ask? Drive the Mini and you will know. It's that, that's, there's that much fun. It's like a roller skate and a go-kart. And that thing can handle... It just, I, you can't explain how the car can handle. It's the uh, geometry of the way that they built the cars with all four wheels all the way on the corners. They drive like little slot cars and they put a smile on your face. And if you come out, you might even meet a local celebrity who comes from the early days of racing. I started in 1962, so give you some idea. It was a 1954 Cooper Norton Formula 3 car. Katani Raceway, which is up by Santa Rosa, uh, in the early days of SCCA, that was their track. And that was Action News Now's Liza George reporting. And Norman told Action News Now they are trying to come back to Willows again this year. In the meantime, they're doing a mini takes the states this summer where they cross from San Francisco and head east and end up in Boston. It looks like a lot of fun out there. It does, and I, I was told our uh, amazing photographer, Rick Carhart, got a, a nice little chance out there, too, an opportunity to ride around in a Ferrari. Yeah, he was telling me that they wouldn't let him go into the Mini uh, with the camera for yeah. some reason, but they would let him jump into a Ferrari, and I guess they opened it up out wow. there. And Liza got to ride in a pretty nice Porsche, so both of them were racing around the racetrack out there as well. So uh, pretty rough assignment out yeah, there. Yeah, fun time for